We're in Microsoft Outlook 2013, and I'm going to show you how to import a PST file into your mailbox. So if you've used a PST file as uh, a way of archiving your, your email or other items, then uh, you can go ahead and import it back in. So let's go ahead and click on File, and we're going to click on Open and Export, and we'll click on Import, Export. And from here, we'll see import from another program or file, which is the, the default option. So let's go ahead and click Next. It's going to uh, give us a couple of different options here. One is a CSV. The other is a PST file. PST is what we want. Click Next. And then we're going to go ahead and locate this particular uh, file. It's called Backup PST. It was on our desktop after just exporting it a little while ago. If we want, we can replace duplicate items. Uh, we can allow duplicates to be created or just do not import duplicates. Let's go ahead and choose do not import duplicates because we don't want to have two of everything. And then we click Next. And then we make sure that subfolders is checked and we want it to import into the same exact folder. You don't have to do it that way, but that's the way we're going to do it this time. Go ahead and click Finish, and then this could take anywhere from a couple of seconds to many hours, just depends on how big it is. Uh, so in our case, it was only about four megabytes, so it imported so quick you didn't even see it happen. So uh, it is all done. Another thing you can do is you can open uh, the file as a separate attachment, and you can do that uh, simply by clicking on Account Settings, and then from there you can go to Data Files and click Add. Let's go ahead and click on the desktop, find our backup file, click OK, and then go ahead and click Close. Now this new thing over here appeared after doing that called Outlook Data File. And there are the exact same messages in this one as it is in this one because I had just previously exported it to that same file. So uh, all of the same items are going to be in this one, but in your case they won't be because you'll have older files in there. Uh, so this is how you import or just attach it as a file. It's your choice. You don't have to import it back into your working mailbox. You can uh, uh, basically just attach it and uh, look at it separately so your old email is separate from your current email.